Contractor, say you want it, each of it. You write books, film, song, and even this of it. And the way you work, really them have to respect it, my friend. Now nah, I beg nobody. They love for someone to have done that for me. Maybe even I might even mentor someone if they if they'd have me. We'll see. But yeah, yeah. Five was five was finances. Six was helping. Yes, we're at seven. There you go. A major collaboration or a major partnership. Something that's legacy building, like something that will stand the test of time when I'm not here. You know, something where they're like, yo, he did that during this phase of his life. Something monumental on that level. Because everything I've said before that is kind of to do with self governing myself and, and, and taking self accountability, but it'd be nice to work with someone on something or someone is in like a company organization, whatever it is, something big. Yeah. I'd, I'd love to be involved with something like that. So that's seven, eight. We're running out of numbers here. Okay. 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 I just thought of this one. <laughs> just got to put it out there. See what happens. Something animated. I'd love to be involved in something animated, whether it's my own show or, and I, I don't really know the, the capacity maybe as a voice you know i do mean uh they're quite a good um superhero voice you know or maybe if the guy that does god of war doesn't feel like it anymore i can be on one of them boy we are hunting deer yeah 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 yeah, yeah. animated in game yeah slash game slash com yeah that whole yeah yeah all of that mm -hmm. i want i want some of that what was that eight or nine i can't remember uh seven yeah that was eight number nine and do 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 number nine number nine number nine would be oh yeah i did well house is kind of covered in financial security right the idea would be you have, you, you're not going to be homeless anyway you'd have somewhere somewhere concrete set up so i'm not counting that for number nine number nine would be i haven't said this out loud so i'll say it i like to do something really really special for my family don't know what that thing is it will come to me at some point but over the course of the next 10 years i'd like to I like to have done something monumental for my family. So yeah, that's, that's, that's in there. That's got to be part of the next 10 years. Number 10, hmm. number 10, I really, okay. One of the things you'd like to do, have accomplished over the next 10 years after all of them things. If, if I get from one to nine, I'm laughing, right? Like that'd be really good. Uh, number 10 would be hmm, something extreme. So. I'd like to, and again, there doesn't have to be cameras involved or anything. this could just be just for me. I'd like to do something extreme, whether it's be, whether it be climbing peaks or the extremes in terms of temperature, like going to the Arctic or something, something like that. And yeah, if we're going to do it, it's got to be in the next 10 years. I don't think I'm trying to do that after that point. No, 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 no. But yeah, climbing one of the, the you know, one of the major peaks, or like I said, going somewhere really you know where you're really at the mercy of the elements I, i'd love to 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 do and be involved in something like that again if it's not from a content creation perspective then i'd love for that to be as part of my personal journey so yeah i feel like that's a solid list if you let me know what your 10 things you're trying to achieve over the next 10 years are 
they they don't have to all be like you know sensible and oh yeah that's really if you want to go into the moon like put that down like, let me know but yeah J Mullings, I, that's it for this this theme i don't know what next month's theme is going to be as yet also yes please let me know if you don't enjoy this this kind of setup i got here uh, hold on hold on yeah i can show you guys what i'm doing now hold on um so yeah just just to recap the camera is on a gimbal right in front of me it's there right see that's that's you right there i got my sound recorder to the left of that well my left to the left of that right in front of me i've got a loom cube uh, hold on i'll show you as soon as we're done with the theme it's this little bad boy this is not even like you know oh wow it it does a nice little effect where it does a bit of vignette right this is not even the most powerful it's it's quite a powerful light you can do the whole you know campfire you know the campfire um, bedtime story type yeah this is this is quite a versatile light um if i had someone well to be honest i should get c stands and all this other stuff oh yeah no one's really ever seen my tattoo before have they but yeah um i got this little bad boy here which helps um i've got my hold on let me show you what else is going on in here so again this is controlled from my phone so let's do this and where are we going left or right so yeah you can see like my little cushions it's just me sitting here in my in my front room uh yes the light control so you know like the different vibes and and literally that's whoa okay i should have i'm not really a jump scare kind of person anyway but yeah that was but yeah it's just literally it, it's not much i don't have one of those background thingies because again my whole my aesthetic my aesthetic has never really counted on me being indoors i always film outdoors um you know when you live in a city like london the expectation is a lot of the time you're going from one place to the other and then you're indoors again so i wanted to always try and subvert that by being outdoors and kind of making it look like it's nice and enjoyable to be outdoors let's be honest it's never really hot in london and it hardly it's hardly ever like bright you know like real it's not not it's not lit like los angeles and miami and pardon me and all these other places so you know it's kind of you almost have to psych yourself up to being outdoors, which is weird. It's the opposite of how my generation grew up, which is we were the generation that played outdoors. Nowadays, kids don't want to go outside. I can't blame them. Yeah, <laughs> you know. So yeah, that's why I tried to do a lot of my videos outdoors. Like I tried to make a conscious effort to be outdoors. So this is, imagine that I've been doing YouTube now solidly, like properly for what seems like it will be like a year and four months now. And this is the first time I've done a video or this month will be the first time I've done videos indoors in my in my space. I did last month's ones, the ones in December, those were done, the ones that were indoors were done while I was away in Torquay, in Torbay in that area in Devon. So, you know, this doesn't really count, but oh yeah, the other light, hold on, let's grab you. That's it, oh, oh, oh. It's gonna make the it's gonna make the thing peak if I bring this into frame. But yeah. And it's and it's on the cord as well, so I don't wanna do that. But yeah, that's yeah, that's it really. That's all I've put into making this. Costed me nothing extra. I'm already paying rent. <laughs> so yeah, it's costed me nothing extra. Uh, this microphone I've had um is the it's an Aston microphone and this is apparently good for podcasting, but it's also good for performing live. So this is the one I take out. I have another one. I have another, I've got a recording. That, oh yeah, I've got, sorry. I've got one of those um, light reflector things over over there. It's not really doing much, but it's reflecting some, I guess. It's, it's oriented in my direction. <laughs> like, look, this is not like the peak lighting setup. I know it's very shadowy. It's not very professional looking, but I just wanted to try this out. I wanted to actually see how it would look, see if I liked it, see if you guys enjoy it. So um, I'm looking at the audio levels, just making sure I'm not getting too excited. And my voice goes, and then, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, I've done that. Let me know if you enjoy it. Let me know if you'd like to see more of these, even if it's like here and there or when the weather is bad, if I can't get to go out. Because normally, guess what? I was even thinking back to what did I do last time, This around this time last year? Because the weather wasn't any better. But then it was like I was doing a lot of voiceover related stuff. So I'd film outdoors 
and then put my voice on top of it. But I know a lot of people like they prefer to see me now. Remember, do you remember when no one ever used to, when you never used to really see me do tough or you saw like footage of me, but you never really saw me speaking live. And then there was like it went the other way. It's all me speaking live, always outdoors, always different locations. Well, now you're getting the indoor treatment now. So, yeah. You know, I want to be one of them. Nah, I don't really want to be one of them content creators, but it'd be nice to have that option. I will look at getting a setup, you know, lights, C stands, the screen, all of that, all of that, all of that. And, you know, I've got, this is like my office setup, so I could make it look a lot more, you know, I could dress it more as a set. I can do that if I so wish. But it's, again, it's down to, if you like and respond to this, if you're used to and only like the outdoor stuff, we'll do that. I've got a big coat now that's you know and I have to go outside to fly my drone anyway so I'm, I am outdoors I can work outdoors it's no problem right finally let's wrap this up if that if this little whatever this was oh m g